in small rural communities in St. Lucia, where the descendants of enslaved Africans settled, life for many has changed. The community of closely knit thatched and timber houses has given way to concrete mansions hidden by flowered hedges. The people of the community make their daily trek from their houses not to agricultural plots, but to the city center to hire their labor for wages. But while many things have changed and some aspects of the African heritage have been lost, some have been retained. It is in the area of dance that this retention is strongest. And among these dancers is the solo. The solo comes from the family of song dances in St. Lucia and is considered to be seasonal, with solos being held mainly in the months of November and December. Most people associate solo with the Christmas season. It is exotic and definitely African. Solo is a song dance in the same category as the bongo in Trinidad and Guyana, the kumina in Jamaica and the bel air in Dominica and St. Lucia. Now in terms of its social function, the, the belly cult, for example, is somehow associated with the cult of the dead. It's always around November. And with the link between belly cult and Kutumba suggests that it has something to do with celebrating the, the memory of the ancestors. It's around all souls. Uh, when the Christian tradition remembers the dead, that's the time. Now we know in the African tradition, the, the dead are very much alive. So it seems to be part of that living tradition, a celebration of the living tradition. That's with, with um, Belle Conte. But after Belle Conte comes solo around Christmas time. So it seems as though it is a kind of, a, it's a social um, event that's leading up to the Christmas, the Christmas period. And there are several other social events like that. For example, there is the, um, the Seminal du Vanjou, which leads up to Christmas. So before Christmas, people go around from house to house and they serenade singing traditional Creole carols. And of course, at Christmas time itself is the abwe that is sung. So the solo seems to fit somewhere around there. So it's an African tradition around the time of the seminar. So just as people go around from house to house and herald Christmas and the coming of Christmas, they at their homes, in their backyard, have the solo in which they enjoy themselves. It's an after belle Conte period and it's a before Christmas time period. Um, solo is somehow also linked with the tradition of bamboo bursting. So around the time when bamboo bursting, so what you know is Advent, you know it's Christmas coming, then you have got, you've got solo. In years gone by, a solo event was very popular and could be hosted by anyone in the community. Like all other community song and dance festivities, it was planned. Persons were invited, food and beverages were served. The singing and dances would start early in the evening and would continue until daybreak the following day. Today, 
150 years after the abolition of slavery. A solo event is still organized. But in addition to the small, intimate community, you can now see it in wide, open, impersonal spaces. There, groups from different communities converge and put on a spectacle for the public. Si mon fond bail qui pas bon. Ouais comme c'est gardé, mais c'est fond bail pas bon, ben fond chanter. Gars chante chanter. Oui oui oui, gardez bagaille, monsieur fait ton air, nous ca caler ça. Bon ça son bail qui son bail sorti en tradition. Ouais ça son bail sorti en en chousse. Depuis tout petit nous ca jeune solo à caler, solo son bail, nous jeune ça caler, mon ca chanter, du fond de chanter, mon ca chanter on a l'autre. Ouais dès le ca dit mon ca chante à tout le monde. C'est pas obligé à tout le monde, dès le ca on bagaille qui fait. On bagaille qui passe. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. Je ne sais pas si je suis un peu fait. En place, là, on a des calypso, on a calypso passé. Donc, on a des ordres, 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 like a cunt based on anything that may happen in the community or may happen um, in the life of a person. And there's a dance that goes with it. The solo seems to be a freer kind of aleliwon. You know, it's like in quadrille, you have the, the different figures, figure one, figure two, you know, you've got Lacomet, Widova, and Mulala, and so, and then you've got the aleliwon, huh? and you've got the guanwon kind of thing. Um, I would say, musically, solo would be equivalent to like the guanwa when everybody just jumps in and breaks in. Except that it would be, it's just a couple, eh? the solo is done just by one couple. One man and one woman. And they dance to the drum. And it is, um, it's very sensual. It's, it's almost like a, a kind of an erotic play between the man and the woman. And the, the rhythm is free, free open rhythm. Uh, something like Mwe solo wa, mwe kota solo wa, mwe me solo wa, le mwe mo tewe mwe solo wa, mwe me solo wa, something like. So it's a kind of a free running rhythm, or um, woi 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 jojo, ba mwe dene kuwa jojo, ba mwe dene kuwa jojo, woi 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 jojo, and with every kind of every downbeat, there would be a, the the man would blow che and the woman would blow che also. So there is this kind of interplay in between. But as I say, it's not as intricate, there are no intricate steps. Like with the belly count, they have, they have feet movements, 
and their specific feet movements, the belly and leg. There is the jumping up, uh, but with the solo, it is really a free for all interrelationship between the man and the woman. The solo is not danced according to defined or regimented steps or formations. People dance individually, or in pairs, or in the round. The essence of the solo is the ability to express oneself with the use of the body. There is a lot of expressive and sometimes suggestive waist movements and hip gyrations. <laughs> It is for this reason that it is shunned by some sections of the society. Some of them call it vulgar. They refer to it as a vulgar whining dance. <laughs> This may have also been the reason why the solo has not been promoted or studied as one of the African influences in the culture of St. Lucian people. However, even in this apparent form of excessive movements, the body language of the solo is satirical. The songs of the solo are comments on the social events of the day. They are composed by anyone, including the drummer. But they are sung mainly by individual female singers known as Chatwells. Today, with the same wit, the same satire, some compositions are sung in groups. Solo employs the technique of Lang Deviwe with people singing the opposite of what they really mean. It is this use of irony which makes the solo more than just a wild dance. Mama, oh, ay, 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 mwen an set bai bo pe mwen. Mama, oh, ay, 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 mwen an kouche bai ti bai la. Mama, oh, ay, 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 mwen an set bai bo pe mwen. Oh, ay, 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 mwen an kouche bai ti bai la. Mama, oh, ay, 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 mwen an set bai bo pe mwen. Ou lo mwen pe di yon fom. Ay, mi fom sa la. Le mwen gade potwe fom la, e se fom sa la. Mwen japli yo tou patan tou se mitye, e se fom sa la. Ou lo mwen pe di yon fom. A se mwen mtou. There are solo drummers. And so, you know, a particular drummer who can play the solo would have people following him, you know. But they're not really, it's not a structured group like a leader and different functions, no. It's, it's more or less around the chantwell and the drummer who can do it, you know. 
Um, I think that um, some kind of organization into solo groups may be taking place now for purposes of things like, as I said, like Charles Popo was saying, Charles said, I'll invite the so-and-so solo group to come down, you know. But um, initially, I got the impression that it was really more of a free thing. The main instrument used to back up the singers in the solo are the tabu or goatskin drum and the shak shak. It is a percussion instrument made from discarded old tin like aerosol cans and pierced with tiny tiny holes and filled with a number of small dried beads. Sometimes small stones are used. A common bead that is used is one we call in St. Lucia the Gwen Legli. The, the tone of the shak shak depends on the number of beads that are used and the extent of the holes in the container. Some of the best drummers in the island of St. Lucia have kept the solo rhythm going for many years. The tabu, or goatskin drum, is the lead instrument in the solo. Originally, a solo drummer with tremendous skill and flair was the one who played at the solo. These virtuosos were popular throughout the island. As the solo has extended beyond the local community into large open fields, more than one drummer is used. Another supporting instrument which has emerged with the changes in the organization of the solo is the tibwa. A piece of bamboo is set on a wooden stand and played with small sticks. The number of tibwa players may vary from two to six. The tibwa, which is associated with the music of work songs, is an excellent example of the use of natural materials to create inexpensive musical instruments. There's only one, one concern, it's the question, of course, of um, cultural dynamism. I mean, no, culture is not static. Culture moves, culture changes, culture. And one suspects now that um, solo, like some of these other traditions, will begin to be infiltrated by some contemporary traditions. Like, I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if suddenly you hear now, solo barbecue, you know, yeah. <laughs> you have to have solo and fellas selling fried chicken around the place, you, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, it is, it's not waning in, in, in popularity. It's certainly not waning. If anything, it is on the increase. <laughs>